Hey, what's up guys? Just kind of relaxing here on my uh, deck. Hanging with Gus. Gus, say hey. <laughs> Just relaxing. Came back from a walk. He's tired. He's a good boy. Anyway, uh, just uh, did the homemade uh, dog treats video. I'm not sure what, what order I'll upload this, but he loves them. Pretty cool. But just a quick little note, they are treats. Treat them as cookies or something. Don't load your dogs up with them. They're not a substitute for food. But anyway, um, just sitting here relaxing, enjoying a nice dark cup of coffee. Black. Take a little sip. Ah, delicious. And I'm uh, enjoying a cigar. So I figured, why not do a review? Uh, I haven't smoked anything since uh, my last tobacco review, which I believe was a, um, a pipe tobacco review, if I'm not mistaken. But who knows, maybe I am mistaken. But anyway, uh, just a totally different approach to this. Just nothing really prepared, just going to talk about it really. Um, maybe not as professional, but here's a Perdomo Fresco. It's a 5 by 50 stick. Um, just got into you know, the beginning of it, as you can see here. Uh, ash hasn't fallen or anything yet. So far, it's just it's really light, really just barely even a medium body cigar. Um, not a whole lot going on with flavor. Um, slight uh, woodiness, kind of earthy tones to it, but it's a really light cigar. Um, well, I figured I'd talk about this because it's really affordable. They're like two dollars a piece. Uh, some of the cigar reviews I did in the past were. A little bit more expensive, you know, five to seven dollars a piece. And if you're looking to find a cigar you enjoy all the time, it could get kind of expensive. But this is one I just had sitting in the uh, humidor and randomly picked it. Decided to uh, to enjoy something here. Now, when I first started um, smoking cigars, it was all about you know trying to do a review. And in trying to do a review on a cigar, I'm you know puffing on it like crazy because I'm trying to pick up flavors. I'm trying to you know get an idea in my mind of what's going on in my mouth. How does it feel? Is the you know smoke oily? Is it heavy? You know, I'm like focused too much on it as a review. I'm not really enjoying it as much. But um, if I ever were to smoke a cigar, it would be just really relaxed. I mean, kind of puffing on it here and there, just not really focusing on it too much. I tend to, um, you know, I'm drinking something. I tend to just guzzle it. You know, same thing with coffee. Just gotta sit back and relax. Just sip on it every now and then. I actually have a book out here that I'm reading, and uh, I figured I'd just do a nonchalant cigar review. So yeah, it's around a $2 stick. Um, so far, in the beginning, it's it's really light. There's not much going on. Looking at my peppers, got just tons and tons of peppers on here. I can't believe I'm sprouting more, some new ones. There's a bunch of new flowers on here, you guys can see. Yeah, little itty bitty tiny peppers. There's another teeny tiny one. But anyway, some of these actually dried up, like that funky one. And I'll let it. I'll let it stay like that. It'll dry on the, um, you know, on the uh, plant, as opposed to me picking it and, and drying it in the window or something. But uh, I also was looking at my other plants here, which I still have to weed out. They're still, uh, you know, it's not, it's not horrible, but it, it definitely needs to be uh, taken apart, and you know, each plant needs to be repotted somewhere else. But I found this cup, which someone gave me, which is just a beautiful. It's a nice, you know, handmade cup with some birds on it, whatever. Um, and I put one of my chocolate Buchalokias in here, which is doing very nicely. And this is going to sit next to my bed on my end table, which gets uh, lots of sunlight. So, anyway, just kind of tinkering around here a little bit. Like I said, just kind of relaxing, enjoying some coffee and a cigar. And I figured I'd do a little video on this. So, uh, this one will probably take me a while. Like I said, I'm really just, I'm babying it. I'm not, I'm not sucking the heck out of it. Just trying to enjoy it a little bit and enjoying the weather. You can see sun's going down soon. It's beautiful in the woods. I, I you know, the woods have, I would say any kind of terrain has its pros and cons, but I'm a woods man. I love the woods. I think I'll always live in the woods. But then again, that's all I've ever lived. So who knows what I like. Maybe I'd be a beach guy if I lived in the beach or by the beach. Uh, certainly wouldn't want to be a desert guy. <laughs> no offense, anyone lives in the desert, but... I just, I miss trees and wildlife too much for that. But anyway, just sitting here, relaxing, trying to enjoy the weather. Thinking about things, you know, trying to make some plans for the future. Um, you know, just time to relax. I can't wait uh, for the future. After some debts paid off, I want to save up and eventually get a vehicle. And, um, 
you know, once I do that, it'll, it'll broaden my horizons. I'll be able to meet a lot of you guys on YouTube, do some traveling, you know, um, get a new job, which is uh, something I'm looking forward to in the future, getting something that's, uh, you know, more steady. But uh, I'm just kind of chilling out here, relaxing. So I thought that I'd turn the camera on and take you guys for a little journey here. And why not do a cigar review? People have been asking for a lot more tobacco reviews. Uh, people ask me all the time, you know, do you still smoke? Did you quit? It's kind of, I wouldn't really consider myself a smoker. Um, in, in the course of a year's time, I'll probably end up smoking maybe three cigars, you know, maybe a, a dozen, you know, bowls uh, in uh, a pipe tobacco. It's really, really moderate, and it's kind of just how I feel like it. Uh, to me, it definitely seems like a, a hobby, not a habit, and a hobby that I would in, enjoy most when it's uh, cool out or even cold. So perhaps a couple uh, bowls full of some good uh, high-end pipe tobacco this winter. But, you know, other than that, it's not much. It's really, it's seldom. I just kind of felt like it, like why not? I was uh, in between editing some videos and doing some other things, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go outside, you know, and give got some time to just do that <laughs> absolutely nothing just enjoying himself and uh why not yeah stretch it out <laughs> good boy and uh you know enjoy a cigar so i'll let you know uh if this has changed or anything how it progresses throughout the video and uh, i'm sorry this isn't really like a straight up professional here it is, let's look at it, let's look at the foot, you know, let's talk about exactly everything about it, the veins and, you know, the, the pack and just, it's just, it's nonchalant. I apologize if you want something more professional, this is just me hanging out, figured I'd film it. Why not, you know? But anyway, uh, so far, so good. Burn is okay. Not completely razor sharp, but definitely uh, decent here. It's got a big fat band on it, which is going to come off. By the way, I just plugged the end. I like that as opposed to cutting. I don't have a, a high-end uh, cigar cutter anyway, so if I try cutting it, I usually end up using a uh, uh, one of my knives <laughs> instead of uh, you know the, the cheesy little cutters that I have. But anyway, so far so good. Just not not a whole lot going on. I don't know. Yeah, you know, people are weird. They want to see me smoking. I don't know why, but here you go. Here I am. It's really me. It fell right in my lap. Anyway. It's uh, it's really light. Honestly, if you're someone who's getting into cigars but you don't want to uh, have something really heavy or really rich and deep. It's just, just kind of woods, you know, uh, woody type flavors. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. It's not really complex, so. Anyway, I'll get back to you as it gets lower and let you know if anything changes. Alright all right, guys, I'm back. I'm into the uh, second third here. I'm actually going to take the band off in a minute because it's getting close to it. Um, I don't know if you could tell. Let me get by the table here so we get a nice focus. Right on this side, some of the uh, outer leaf, the wrapper had, uh, come on, focus, there we go. Some of the uh, wrapper kind of peeled away as the um, you know, tobacco started to burn down. It kind of flared out a little bit. It was just hanging on there. And uh, when I flicked the ash last, uh, it just kind of fell off. So construction, you know, not 100%, but not bad. The burn's been great. It hasn't gone out of me or anything like that. So, so far it's been really good. Um, as far as uh, flavor profile, this is just, it's really, really medium. Um, I would say light to medium. It, it's a really, probably a fantastic cigar uh, for a regular smoker. If you're looking for something like a daily smoker, uh, definitely a great option. It's just super light, um, airy, it's not heavy, it's not, I'm not getting any kind of a nicotine buzz or anything by it. As far as flavors, it got a little bit nutty. Um, nothing specific stood out. But definitely a little bit of nuttiness to it. And generally speaking, it's just been really woodsy and natural. Um, a lot of earthy flavors and just uh, wood tones, you know, like a little bit of cedar. Nothing super strong. Cedar is a very specific flavor you get in cigars. But I got a little bit of that. A um, little bit of like a pine mixed with straw. 
you know just a lot of people I guess a professional would say it was kind of a dry tobacco type taste um, I tend to like cigars that are very very uh, flavorful uh, a lot of transitions things that go from like cocoa to you know pepper um, into like espresso I mean all kinds of flavor changes really deep um, delicious strong heavy cigars and what I'll do is I'll same thing if I'm really enjoying it uh, I'll just baby it. I don't go heavy on it because if you keep puffing on something like that that's really, you know, heavy, then you can get a, you know, nicotine buzz from it, which I'm not looking to do. It makes me feel sick. Um, but, you know, if you're experimenting with cigars and you're looking for a daily smoker, this might be a good good, uh, good option for you. A Perdomo Fresco. Um, as far as size, 5x50 is pretty, pretty average, common. Some people like them bigger, some people like them smaller. Um, as far as, as shape, it's uh, just an average like robusto shape. Some people like all different types of things, but it's just been medium, light, you know, an easy smoke. Really, it's the best way I can explain it. It's been a, an easy smoke. It, I haven't had to touch it up or anything, um, and I haven't really worried about smoking it too fast or whatever because it is so light. So I've liked it so far. I'm out of coffee, unfortunately. That's such a sad thing when you see the bottom of your coffee cup. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's nice. Um, it's for me. It's been a long smoke, but that's kind of how I'm smoking it too. Uh, I think the last time I turned the camera on was roughly 30, 35 minutes ago or so. But I want to talk about this knife a little bit. This is the uh, Util Attack 2. This is a knife channel, by the way. <laughs> uh, if you happen to tune in for cigars, I don't do them often. Um, yes, I had an experience uh, earlier today. Uh, I actually got chilly. That's why I switched over to pants. I got I got the long pants on. But I had shorts on earlier. I have this pair of shorts. It's the company Life is Good. I don't know if you've ever seen those, like the bumper stickers and t-shirts. Life is Good. I never really got into it. It was kind of a, I don't know, a, um, I don't want to say a fad, but people really loved that crap for a while, and then I stopped hearing about it. But the one thing I noticed is that their clothing line is extremely comfortable. And I have a pair of shorts that I've been wearing every now and then that I love. I really, really like them. They're super, super thin, super comfortable, very soft. What, Gus? What? Come here. Come here. You need some loving? Yeah, I forget about you. Don't worry. Um, anyway, yeah, I have this pair of shorts from uh, Life is Good, and they're like crazy soft and comfortable. They're just amazing to wear, right? Well, I just realized today that they're, they're not shorts, they're boxers, because <laughs> I'm looking at the front, and there's a flap, and there's no, there's no button or anything. It's just a flap. I'll have to show you sometime, but it's hilarious. I've been wearing boxers out. Uh, of course, I had boxers on underneath, but uh, yes, the silly, silly things that I do. But um, anyway, the reason I'm telling you about this is not because I'm strange, but there's a, there's a point behind it. Um, this is the first time in my uh, probably, definitely in years. I don't want to say the first time in my entire life because I've carried knives before that felt too heavy to me. But with this particular pair of shorts, or boxers, as I should call them, because that's what they are, they, they found, uh, or I, I felt particularly uncomfortable in that this knife was um, too heavy for that specific pair of shorts. It was actually pulling them down. And it's the first time in a really long time where I went like, ah, oh, crap, you know, my knife's too heavy. That usually is not an issue. Usually I'm wearing some kind of, uh, you know, cargo shorts or cargo pants, or even if I'm wearing gym shorts, a lot of times, you know, with the... The um, drawstring, I just tie it up tight. It's not a problem. But this was a, an instance where I was actually running a little bit with Gus. We're taking a walk, and occasionally I'll, uh, I'll have him run just for exercise. You know, not long, maybe like 30 or 40 feet. But I get him going. And as I'm running, my, my <laughs> let's call them the second pair of boxers, they started to fall off me. And I'm like, oh, crap. It's because my knife, the, the heft of it, was swinging. If you guys, any of you guys carry your knives with gym shorts or something, you'll know what I'm talking about where you feel that heft because your shorts are so thin or are so light. And then when you're walking, you feel you know the heft of your knife kind of swinging as you're walking and bouncing around up against your leg and stuff. But yeah, I had a, I had a moment. The first time in a long time where the, my knife weight was an issue. Um, still love this knife. It's just really, really cool. You will see a review of this. Um, it's nice. I like it. It's getting a lot of use. Heck of a lot of use. Uh, I've said this before, but... Tanto or Tanto knives aren't my first choice for uh, EDC, but they sure do come in handy. That secondary point is just fantastic for stripping open boxes. 
Boxes of what, you may ask? New knives, of course. That's why we carry knives, right? Just to buy, open boxes of new knives. <laughs> it seems to be a trend. But no, I do uh, get plenty of use out of my knives, and I love them. But this isn't a knife video. I don't really know what this video is. It's kind of a blog. I'm calling it a cigar review just because people have been asking for more cigar reviews. But yeah, back to the cigar. Um, it's so-so. It's cool, though. It's, it's very light. Very light. So, I like it. It's, uh, like I said, I, I do prefer heavier, more complex, um, really flavorful cigars. So it's not particularly my favorite cigar. And when I do smoke cigars, what's cool is that because I, I see it as somewhat of a hobby and not a habit, I probably won't smoke the same cigar twice. There's so many out there to try, and I, I smoke so rarely and so seldom that um, even though like I'm kind of enjoying this, I'll never smoke this cigar again. Not this particular one, because it's not going to be there. But you know what I mean. I'm, I'll never smoke the same one again. There's too many out there to, to, for me to get stuck on one thing and try. It's like knives. I found my grill knives before. I found knives that I just loved and there's no reason to ever change. But there's too many out there to just pick one. It's a hobby. So anyway, all right, back to me for the weirdos. <laughs> I don't know why. Why you guys care or really want to see. Oh, my, there we go. My lens was closed. It's nice. Um, instead of cigars tasting like desserts, like I said, chocolate notes and coffee notes and stuff like that, this um, really gives you an appreciation for just the tobacco flavor. Some people actually smoke cigars because they like the flavor of tobacco. And um, if you don't like the flavor of tobacco, you probably shouldn't like So anyway, yeah, knives. I love knives. You know that? How many times you open your knife and close it without using it? If you're like me or, well, I know you're like me. We open our knives and close them all day long. We open them, we close them. We open them, we close them. In fact, most of the times I ever get cut on a knife, it's because I'm playing with it. It's not because I'm using it to cut something. I'm pretty safe when I'm cutting stuff. It's when I'm being reckless playing with my knives, opening them and closing them for no reason whatsoever. That's when I nip myself. I'm so sad my cup's empty. I might have to make more coffee. Anyway, I'll get back to this uh, Perdoma. As soon as I get to the end, when it gets too hot, I'll give you my overall conclusion. One final little puff. Otherwise, I'll be smoking this with a roach clip. <laughs> Alright, guys. There it is, down to a nub. Which not only is getting extremely hot, so the smoke's over. But I don't know if you can tell, it's also starting to unravel a little bit. But no one would smoke it past that anyway. So, let's take a look down here. And look, it's even smaller than its wrapper now. Um, what do I think of the uh, Perdomo um, Fresco? Well, it wasn't bad. Um, you know, like I said, not my particular cup of tea, but it was pleasant to smoke. Um, very mild. What's cool about this is that when I first, upon first light, it had a little bit of zing, a little bit of um, pepper uh, slash spice. And I was wondering if the whole thing was going to be like that, but it, it literally died off the second, you know, second drag on it. Um, so what's cool about this stick is that when you start smoking it, after taking two or three puffs on it, um, if you don't like the flavor, then put it out. Because the whole thing is very consistent. It's the same flavor all the way down. Um, occasionally you get some sort of a nuttiness coming through, but it was really just predominantly wood tones, wood flavors, earthiness. Like I said, a dry tobacco, possibly like a, a straw, you know, or a hay type uh, flavor. Um, which some guys like, you know, some people like smoking like that. Um, not my particular thing, but it wasn't bad. I think it was a good quality cigar. Um, the, the burn was pretty even throughout. Like I said, um, not too many problems with construction. did flake off a little bit at one point, but that could have been just from a crack or something and handling it before I got it. Not a whole lot going on with it. But here, instead of my shaky hand, let me do that. There we go. Because <laughs> this camera happens to be super sensitive. Super sensitive. And um, it looks like I have uh, some kind of a problem with my my hands. <laughs> I'm not shaky. It's just, it, it's sensitive. Anyway. Um, yeah, you know, let's put this cool knife in the background just like that. I want to make the knife the star because I do knife videos, not cigar videos. But anyway. 
All right, I don't know why I just set it up like I'm taking a picture or something, but I wanted to show off the knife in the background because a lot of you guys want to see this. You don't want to see that. So that's why I don't do this video that often. There's definitely some interest in tobacco reviews, but of course it's not what my channel is about. My channel is about everything I do, but definitely more of this. So you will see more of this. In fact, you'll see this exact knife soon for review, as well as other knives. I have some flashlights to review. But in the meantime, I thought I'd uh, enjoy a cigar and relax out here for a little while. And uh, it's been nice. It's been relaxing. So it served its purpose. But uh, like I said, not tremendously flavorful, not tremendously strong. Um, definitely recommended for an everyday smoke as opposed to a special occasion type stick. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate your time as always. And I will see you soon. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.